everyone welcome to this video you're watching ivy from gama and this video is about decoration with chocolates this is ishita and Tiko is behind the camera so these chocolate decorations you can use on top of any dessert any mousse or even on top of cakes so uh, for melting chocolate you need to do it in a double bath system so you heat water in a pan and then you use another bowl on top of that and so you're not getting direct heat onto your chocolate because when you're working with chocolate you have to be extra careful so the chocolate is gonna get indirect heat from the water and that's how you melt your chocolate so for melting your chocolate first you would need your chocolate so you can use any chocolate that you like some water to heat up and when the water is the right temperature and you add your chocolate you need to use a whisk to continuously stir it and you need your kitchen thermometer to maintain that temperature of water and once your chocolate is melted and you have successfully tempered your chocolate so you have that glaze on your chocolate so it's up to your creativity how you want to do the decorations so if you want to do like uh, cinnamon rolls from chocolates or you want to do any motifs then you need these butter paper so on then you can start filling your chocolate in these piping bags this butter paper you're going to pipe out whatever design you want to do before we get into how we do the decorations we have to first melt it so let's go to the kitchen we're gonna first turn on the hob and we are gonna keep the temperature setting at six and add the water now to check whether your water level is fine, you just take your ball that you're going to use and place it on top of the pan and the water level has to be such that it's not in direct contact with the ball. So you only want water vapors coming up. So at the minute it's at the right level. In our case, the pan is about one fifth full and for the ball that I'm using, that is the right measurement so we're gonna let the water heat up and we want it approximately 55 50 to 60 degrees centigrade around about 130 degree Fahrenheit so it's at 30 38 degrees now so it needs to warm up more keep your chocolate ready you can use any chocolate that you like and you need your whip to continuously stir the chocolate so in the beginning, when it starts melting, you'll see in a bit, it's going to be a bit lumpy. So you need to kind of whip it, whip it till you get that smooth texture. And because we are using a double bath system, the melting will be really slow. But you're going to get that really good glaze on your chocolate. So we will place the ball on top when it hits 55. We are at 55 now, so we place the bowl on top and you add your chocolate onto your bowl. This method of uh, temperature controlled uh, tempering of chocolate really gives that rich look to your melted chocolate and obviously it will then look really good when you do your decorations. Hold the ball with a clamp So the bottom layer is like completely melted now And now if we keep sort of stirring it then we can get the top layers to the bottom and Then they can sort of get melted sooner as the pan remains on heat it might go beyond 60 degrees so you need to bring down your heat settings on the hob from 6 to 5 so if you're using a gas stove put it on medium flame to begin with and then when you add the chocolate you go down a notch from the medium setting so I'm gonna 
leave it without stirring for another minute and that should melt all of the chocolate so it looks like all the chocolate is melted so we're going back in and we are gonna stir it with this whisk so as you can see the glaze is really coming through right now our chocolate is beautifully melted so we are gonna turn the heat off and shift the entire double bath thing away from the heat let's take the melted chocolate to our workstation right now we have our melted chocolate with us the first type of decoration that we are going to do is that sort of dripping effect in your dessert cup or bowl so for this i have already uh, kept these in, in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so that when you pour your chocolate on to the sides it kind of really freezes and you get that instant freeze so to start with that we are gonna Take a little bit of our melted chocolate into a piping bag. Fold the piping bag like this so that it can really go to the bottom of the bag really easily. So you don't waste a lot of it sticking on the sides of the piping bag. Right now you cut the piping bag so it depends on how uh, thick or thin you want your uh, chocolate decoration to be so I want it like really thin so I'm gonna cut out a bit from the front of the piping bag I'm gonna go along the edge of the cup or the bowl that you're using for your dessert And whichever side of the cup you are doing the design, fold that towards the bottom. Four of our cups are now decorated with chocolate. You can really like show your creativity with this. And yeah, so I'm gonna put that back into the refrigerator now. Right now moving on to the second type of decoration with our melted chocolate. Like the first one, we are gonna fill a piping bag with some melted chocolate. If your chocolate feels too hot, then just wiggle it around a few times. Let it cool down a bit so that it's like room temperature, it's not like hot before you start piping it like glue tags or like cello tapes underneath the butter paper and then secure it with your surface wherever you're working uh, just in case your butter paper comes because butter papers are like really thin so if it just moves and then your design gets spoiled then you might feel just very disappointed so yeah just one tip there so you could secure it like I have done here and let's check the chocolate how does it feel yeah I think it's ready so we can start piping now. Start piping your uh, design and I'm really gonna go freestyle with this. So I think I'm just gonna go with a few uh, neck like structures and then yeah, I'm just gonna go with the flow just for demonstration purpose really. So basically, uh, you can do anything you want. You could do like, you know, these 
cool net like things or you can do uh, anything like a butterfly like a tree like whatever uh, fancies you but if you think uh, you really want like a very intricate design and you're not sure whether you'll be able to kind of do it straight on the butter paper then you can uh, use like a layer below it which has the uh, design in it and then you place your butter paper on it so it's it acts like tracing paper and in place of your pencil or pen you use your magic piping pack mm -hmm. and if you are confident enough then just go straight on the butter paper and start making the motives you want so Right now that our motifs are ready, we are going to put it in the refrigerator. Now we'll be moving on to the third type of decoration with melted chocolate. Now you could do cinnamon rolls uh, with chocolate, butter paper. And now uh, butter paper is called different in uh, different countries. So you basically need something that has a bit of silkiness in it. You could use acrylic sheets as well. If you uh, keep it in the fridge for a while and then use it, you can use acrylic sheets as well. And you can even actually use like uh, ceramic plates like these and just cool it in the refrigerator and the chocolate should come out of it when it's uh, set. So you take a little bit of chocolate in a spoon or you could also use silicone brush for this but I prefer the spoon. So you put a bit on top of your paper. Now it doesn't have to be this shape, it could be any shape and keep some uh, dish or something below that so that you can have that liberty of just going outside it. So just spread that and if you keep it really thin, then you're gonna get that really good lock kind of effect. Like you can see, I'm not doing anything on the lower part of it because I'm gonna need a bit of the paper which is not filled with chocolate to be able to roll it next to so slide it out you have to be careful not to get the chocolate out of the butter paper and once it's rolled You take a cello tape and you fix it. Now to ensure that chocolate doesn't drip and you actually get that cinnamon roll kind of thing, you have to quickly refrigerate this. After you've done all the decorations you wanted to do with your metal chocolate and you have sort of a bit of chocolate left so you could just condense it and then use like a peeler or something to scrape off bits of it and it just looks like shredded chocolate and that looks really cool too our chocolate leaves have been in the refrigerator for half an hour now it's ready to be taken out of the butter paper and we can see how the designs look so you see it's so easy to paint it off uh, you can literally use it anywhere that's on top of your desserts and it's gonna taste really yum.
this is how your desserts could look if you top it with these sort of chocolate motifs and if you want to see how to make chocolate mousse then I'm going to link that video on the upper right hand corner and also in the description box. Right now uh, let's open our cinnamon roll effect from the melted chocolate. Those were three techniques of decorating with melted chocolate. Now there are a lot more ways you can use melted chocolate in and I'll come up with another video later with more tips on how you can decorate with melted chocolate. So until next time, take care, subscribe to our channel if you are new here and hit that like button if you like that video and uh, drop in the comment section if you try any of these and also if you have any other cool designs to show and bye take care see you in the next video